Are you a frustrated Lancelot main? Do you want to play the easier version of Joy? Don't worry because Arlot is here. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to talk about Arlot, the newest fighter in Mobile Legends. He is a half-demon, half-human warrior that was always searching for a place where he could belong. Both traits despise his nature which made his life difficult. Until one day, he met a human named Mila. Despite his demon features, Mila was not afraid of Arlot. It was a peaceful life with her and they promised each other that they'll protect as many people as they can. However, the church found out that Mila had harbored a demon which led to her death. It was a painful moment for Arlot for what he had most wanted to protect, now they dead and broken before him. Carrying Mila's corpse, Arlot was faced with three paths. First is to a human city, second is to the barren lands full of demons, and third is to a forest where he and Mila had celebrated her birthday before. He chose the third and decided that this will be her eternal resting place where no one will disturb her. Skills Arlot is a physical fighter with charge and burst specialty. His passive is called Demon Gaze and it places a mark on enemy units that become affected by crowd control effects. Aside from heroes, it can also be applied on minions and jungle creeps. Another feature of Demon Gaze is it automatically marks a nearby enemy hero for 8 seconds. The enemy needs to be with a certain distance and only one hero can be marked. What's the use of those marks? It's for his second skill, which is called Vengeance. Using his spear, Arla charges at an enemy like this. If the target is marked, the cooldown of the skill will reset. This skill will deal double damage if it hits a marked target. And each dash with a mark will also heal Arlot. Next one is his first skill and it's called Dauntless Strike. He swings his lance forward, dealing damage and briefly stunning targets in an area. If the target is at the edge of the skill, they will be stunned longer. And because of the stun, enemies that are hit will be marked with his passive. His ultimate is called Final Slash. It pushes enemies in a clockwise direction like this. Since displacement is a crowd control effect, it can place marks on targets. It can also reveal enemies that are hiding in the bush for a brief moment. When leveling up, prioritize second skill because it's the main damage source. Level up the ultimate when available while first skill will have the least priority. Skill Combo Arlot's combo is pretty easy to understand. The goal is to dash only on marked targets several times. To do that, you'll need to apply CC effects in between dashes so that your second skill won't go on cooldown. Here is an example when doing 1 versus 1 with your lane opponent. First is to wait for your passive skill to mark the enemy. Once marked, dash to the target with your second skill. Next is use your first skill to apply a mark. Since he's now marked, that means you can dash again. Next is to use Petrify to apply another mark. Dash again to deal damage. Lastly, use his ultimate to apply another mark. The enemy is marked and now you can dash again. As you can see, the goal is to apply crowd control effect in between dashes so that your second skill won't go on cooldown. Build Arlot's gameplay requires him to be a bit tanky, so a mix of attack and defense is needed. He is a skill caster, which means you don't need attack speed items. My build usually depends on the enemy lineup. If they are mostly squishy heroes, I go with 3 attack items. If the enemy composition is tanky, 2 attack and 3 defense is what I build. Boot selection is either warrior boots or tough boots. 
Hunter Strike and Bloodlust Axe are for sustain and movement speed. Both of them also have cooldown reduction. Blade of Despair is good for bursting heroes, while Malefic Roar is for tanky enemies. And the rest are defense items that can counter the enemy lineup. You can use Oracle because Arlot's heal is quite strong. Brute Force Breastplate if you need more movement speed and cooldown reduction. You'll also need Magic Necklace in the early game because he can consume mana pretty fast. For the talent build, it's either Fighter or Assassin. Festival of Blood is good against tanky lineup so that you can sustain and remain longer on the battlefield. Use the Assassin talent Killing Spree if you're up against squishy heroes. For the battle spell, I prefer Petrify. The Petrify effect can apply marks on enemies and you can use it as a part of your combo. Game Style Arlot is very similar to D-Rot's game style. He's like an all-in kind of hero. It's either Arlot kills his target or he dies. Despite his flashy dashes, he has a hard time escaping once his marks are gone. But what differentiates him from d -Rot is his ability to apply multiple CC effects on enemies. In team fights, he can be very useful in disrupting the enemy's position with his ultimate. If you think about it, it's a bit similar to Kufra ultimate but without the stun. His passive skill is actually similar to Fovius. Fovius can mark enemies who dash while Arlot marks them if they are under a crowd control effect. So if you're a Fovius main, you'll probably have an easy time playing Arlot. Arlot works well in experience lane but he can also be played as a roamer. His ultimate and first skill has a very short cooldown making it dangerous in team fights. As a roamer, I think he's a bit similar to Ruby with her continuous CC effects and sustain. Counter Fighting against Starlot is tricky because he can close the gap pretty fast. If possible, stay away from his passive range to avoid getting marked. Always let your tank go first. You can detect a hiding Arlot once you see a mark just like this. Since he is a skill caster, anti Keras is one of his counter items. Life Drain items can also be helpful because of his high heal. Anti-dash heroes like Minsitor can stop him from using his second skill. Avoid using heroes with summons like Sun because Arlot can use those clones to dash and recover his HP. If you see him dash without marks, that will be your best time to attack because it means his main skill is on cooldown. Tips Arlot is easy to learn because of the auto-aim feature on his second skill. He doesn't need precise aiming like Lancelot and Joy because the skill prioritizes targets with marks. In this example, my target priority is set to lowest HP percent. Now, I'm going to auto-aim the second skill by simply tapping it. As you can see, Arlot targeted the hero with a mark instead of the low HP one that is nearer. This means you can tap the skill and it will automatically search for a marked target. You can get away just by tapping skills without aiming. When clearing minion waves, you can stun them in a single line using his first skill. After that, you can dash consecutively until the marks are gone. One thing you have to remember is that the skill doesn't deal damage to its path. Only the main target will receive damage. Arlot, despite his short skill cooldown, isn't meant to become a jungler. His passive doesn't automatically mark jungle creeps because it only applies to heroes. If you want to mark them, you'll have to stun them first. That means there will be a lot of downtime to his skills and that makes it hard to clear jungle camps fast. Another factor that makes him a bad jungler are those creeps with CC immunity. Examples are the Lord, Turtle, and Little Wanderer. You can't place marks on them because of their immunity. His ultimate can be confusing as to where it will push the enemies because it changes when you're facing a different direction. To fix this, you need to remember that the skill will always push in a clockwise direction. So think of the clock before you use his ultimate.
Arlott's Hill is pretty powerful. At max level, each dash can recover 12% of his HP. If you manage to dash 4 times on an enemy hero, you will have recovered almost half of your maximum HP. So far, I really like Arlott's game style. The fun part is there when you play him because of his dashes and skill combinations. But aside from that, he is also a very competent fighter that can hold his ground against other meta fighters. He has sustain, crowd control, and immunity. If you want to learn a new fighter, I highly recommend Arlot. So what can you say about Arlot? What other tips and tricks can you share? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.